Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some common mistakes with vocabulary. So let's get started. Today we're going to talk about carbon. Pronunciation carbon. Car, like car and far, and bun with a short sound, uh, uh, like cup and up. Carbon. The stress is on the first syllable. This is not carbon. Well, we don't call it carbon. It's mostly carbon, but we don't call it that. We call it something else. We call it coal. This is coal. Pronunciation, k, k. The long O, co. When it connects to the dark L at the end, the long O changes a little bit. Listen, co, co, coal. Coal. It's not coal. It's coal. Coal. This is coal. We get coal from the earth. He's mining for coal. He's a coal miner. And he's mining for coal. Let's practice. What is he? Is he a coal miner? That's right. He's a coal miner. And what is he doing? Is he mining for coal? That's right, he's mining for coal. And he works at a coal mine. The place is a coal mine. Let's practice. Does he work at a coal mine? That's right, he works at a coal mine. Coal has many uses, but the most common use is burning coal to make electricity. But it's not good, it's not good for the environment. Because when you burn coal, it puts carbon in the atmosphere. This is how we use the word carbon, because carbon is the element. And the element carbon is in the atmosphere when you burn coal. So burning coal is not the best way to make electricity, because it's bad for the environment. Let's practice. Is burning coal the best way to make electricity? That's right. Burning coal is not the best way to make electricity. Is there too much carbon in the atmosphere? That's right, there's too much carbon in the atmosphere. And these little pieces of coal are called lumps. They're lumps of coal. And that's what Santa Claus will give you if you're not good. If you're bad, then on Christmas, Santa Claus will not give you a toy. He will not leave you a nice present. He will leave you a lump of coal. He'll leave a lump of coal in your stocking. That's right. This is not a sock. This is a stocking. And Santa will leave a lump of coal in your stocking if you're not good. So be good or Santa will leave a lump of coal in your stocking. I remember all we ever had for Christmas was an apple core and a lump of coal in our stocking. Reason? And they get a lump of coal in their stocking. Let's practice. What will happen if you're not good? Will Santa leave a lump of coal in your stocking? That's right, Santa will leave a lump of coal in your stocking if you're not good. Now let's talk about the most common use of this material. We use it when we have a barbecue. When you cook on the grill, you buy these little rocks of carbon. Well, they're mostly carbon, but we don't call them carbon and we don't call them coal. We call it charcoal. The little rocks are called briquettes, charcoal briquettes, but you can just say charcoal. We call it charcoal. Where the primary household energy consumer for low-income households are traditional charcoal stoves used for cooking. There are more efficient and cost-effective stove alternatives that could help in the adoption of energy efficiency, yet the lower-income households have not widely adopted them. People use charcoal to have a barbecue, to cook out on the grill. People like to use charcoal. Example, he needs charcoal to cook out on the grill. Let's practice. Does he need charcoal to cook out on the grill? That's right, he needs charcoal to cook out on the grill. Or you can say to have a barbecue. It's the same idea. He needs charcoal to have a barbecue. He uses charcoal when he has a barbecue. Let's practice. Does he use charcoal when he has a barbecue? That's right, he uses charcoal when he has a barbecue. And why do we call it charcoal? Where does this word char come from? Char means to burn. It's a verb. 
I cooked my burger and I cooked it for a long time. I charred the burger, but that's okay. I like a little char on my burger. Char is also the noun. It's the little black pieces, the little dark parts on the meat or any food that you cook. The little black pieces, the little dark brown bits are called char. And I like a little char on my burger. Let's practice. Is there a little char on the burger? That's right, there's a little char on the burger. Do you like a little char on your burger? Very good. Let's talk about another use of charcoal. We also have this. This is activated charcoal. We don't call it carbon, and we don't call it coal, we call it activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is used as a medicine. You take it like medicine when you have poison in your body. When people come to the emergency room, to the hospital, and they've been poisoned, the doctors give them activated charcoal. This absorbs the poison so it doesn't go into your body and kill you. Some people keep activated charcoal in their medicine cabinet or at home, just in case, in case you're poisoned. So if you go to the hospital and you've been poisoned, the doctors will give you activated charcoal. Let's practice. If you go to the hospital and you've been poisoned, what will the doctors give you? That's right. If you've been poisoned and you go to the hospital, they'll give you activated charcoal. And a lot of people keep activated charcoal in their house, just in case of emergency. Do you keep activated charcoal in your house? Very good. So remember, we don't call everything carbon. There's carbon in the atmosphere. There's too much carbon in the atmosphere. And coal is what you burn to make electricity. And Santa will leave you coal if you're not good. And charcoal is what you cook with. And activated charcoal is what they give you if you've been poisoned. So remember these three words, carbon, coal, and charcoal. They're all similar, but they're all used a little differently. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.